Namaste. My name is Rohini Vij and today we are going to be listening to the story of Devi Brahmacharini. Devi Brahmacharini is a form of Goddess Durga that is celebrated on the second day of the 9 day long festival of Navratri. After her self immolation in her previous birth as Sati, she took birth again and this time she was born to the king of the mountains to the Himalayas. In this birth she came to be known as Parvati. And in this birth Parvati became Brahmacharini. Brahm over here means tapasya and charini means a female devotee an ardent female devotee one day parvati was visited by narad muni ji narad muni ji told her that in this birth too you can get married to lord shiva but for that you will need to do severe penance at once parvati decided that she was ready for any kind of penance and she went into severe penance it was no ordinary tapasya her tapasya went on for thousands and thousands of years for the first 1000 years she only ate fruits and flowers for the next 100 years she only ate vegetables for the next 3000 years she only ate dried leaves this kind of tapasya or penance was different Nobody had ever seen this kind of tapasya and after the 3000 years where she ate only leaves she went on to eating nothing she gave up water she gave up food and her purpose of life became severe penance she became weak and absolutely emaciated once when her mother visited her she was shattered to see her and she remarked oh ma because of this remark sometimes parvati ji is also known as uma when she gave up eating leaves she earned herself another name the name is aparna somebody who lives without the leaves after so many years of penance lord brahma was pleased and he visited her and blessed her saying that due to her penance lord shiva too was pleased and they had lord brahma's blessings and the both of them could get married in this birth brahmacharini is the symbol of immense sacrifice penance solitude purity and on the second day of navratri we pray to her to give us to so much strength that we can be completely focused on penance towards god what we love and towards sacrifice and towards solitude in this form she carries a rosary in one hand and a kamandal in the other people pray to her for peace prosperity and happiness a lot of people who follow the navratri also observe a fast for all the 9 days they go without food and sometimes even water on those days they pray to goddess brahmacharini for strength so that they can stay focused and so that they can deal with whatever they wish for here's wishing all of you a very shubh navratri may goddess brahmacharini give you the strength to follow what your heart desires and not go astray never for a moment namaste